Hey everybody, welcome to Sports Inside the Box with Nate Miller. I am your host, the aforementioned Nate Miller. <laughs> so, I thought I would do a quick video for you guys right before um, the Dallas Stars uh, take on the Tampa Bay Lightning. I'm about to settle in to watch that game here. Uh, so I thought I would uh, give you guys a quick video. I was going to do something a little bit different tonight. Um, I was thinking a lot about uh, this particular topic because the topic I'm thinking about is sports and people with disabilities. I think about this a lot because I have a disability. I have cerebral palsy. Uh, I walk with a limp. It's It's actually more on my left side. It's not the most severe case of cerebral palsy you'll ever see, but it's still, you know, to the point where it affects my everyday life. Um, I know people that have it less severe than I do and more severe than I do. Um, there are people that have it so bad that they're confined to a wheelchair and they're paralyzed from the neck down and they can't speak. So, um like to give a special shout out to Laurie Delosier, my uh, girlfriend. She has cerebral palsy. She's in a wheelchair too, but she's paralyzed from her waist down. Everything above her waist, she can feel. She can talk just fine as well. And uh, she takes uh, she takes Taekwondo. She takes Taekwondo and get this, she rock climbs. <laughs> she rock climbs. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. And, um, you know, it, it just got me thinking, just because a person has a disability, you know, that w that first part of the word, dis, that really shouldn't, you know, that really shouldn't be enough to cast your final judgment on a person, especially when it comes to sports. There are organizations everywhere, everywhere that sort of aid people of all ages in sports and um their disability is not a like well it is a factor but it's like but it's not a factor at the same time <laughs> there are ways to get around it so it's just um i was thinking about it and you know sometimes people aren't fair people are judgment well i don't want to say judgmental i want to say uneducated People are uneducated on people with, with disabilities when it comes to sports. Yes, there are some things we can, um, that we are unable to do physically, but there are ways around it. There are wheelchairs. There are walkers. There are other um, methods of um, mobility assistance that can help with the, people with disabilities in sports. Wheelchair basketball, very popular, always like has been for a number of years, and um, people are very good at it. They're very good. At, I'm I'm sure my friend, my uh, significant other, Lari, would be good at it too. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if she has any interest in it, but um, but I'm sure she would be. And um, please, if you're if you are completely able-bodied, don't dismiss people with disabilities when it comes to sports. Actually, no, no, no. Don't dismiss them, period. Because, I mean, a lot, of, a lot of people I know that have disabilities are more motivated than a lot of people I know that are completely able-bodied. Um, never underestimate them. Never underestimate us. And, um, I know, I know a good friend of mine, uh, his name is Jared Sandler. He actually works for 105.3 The Fan in Dallas, the fa uh, flagship radio station of the Texas Rangers and the Dallas Cowboys. And, uh, what he does is he, um, he has a charity that assists in developmental, he, um, they assist in, um, developmental and physically challenged kids, not necessarily adults, but kids. And it's not really, it's not really, um, an organization focused around sports, but just, um, just kind of helping them feel wanted and needed. So, um, I don't know 
the full extent of the chair, but uh, go and um, go and check it out. It's the Sandlot Charity. Yeah, I know. Um, at first, I thought it was just because of the movie of the Sandlot, but it's um, it's actually because of his last name, Sandler. Uh, no relation to Adam, I don't, I don't think. But uh, yeah, in fact, a lot of those guys over at the fan, 105.3 The Fan, are very open. They're very open about um, their love of people with disabilities. And um, they've accepted me as, <laughs> as one of their listeners, as one of their faithful listeners. They always tell me how much they enjoy seeing me post on Facebook about them. And um, so, yeah, just don't dismiss them. Don't dismiss people with disabilities. Um, of course, they have Special Olympics, which is a wonderful organization. It's everywhere. Um, they have a games coming up in 2020. I forget where, where it is. It might be in, in Atlanta. I could be wrong. Um, but it was just, um, I've never, I've never participated in Special Olympics, but I've always been a big supporter of them. Um, I try to watch their events whenever I can. I've never actually, well, yeah, I've never actually been to their like national like actual special olympics but i have seen others compete in sort of trial events for them <laughs> and uh it's a lot of fun it really is um all events wheelchair basketball um among other sports too many to list really and um it's just great it's great and um and uh, a good example of a uh, person with a disability that has really, really been successful in baseball, like sports, but baseball in particular, Jim Abbott. Jim Abbott, he was born without a right hand, and he went on to pitch eight seasons. Um, ten seasons. Sorry, 10 seasons in the major leagues. And um, he pitched a no-hitter for the New York Yankees. So that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. He did that in 1993 against the uh, Cleveland Indians. I was seven years old. <laughs> I was seven years old. And I didn't see the, I didn't see it at the time, but I've seen video of it since then. And um, now he works as a motivational speaker. Um, not like Matt Foley from Saturn. Saturday Night Live, but, uh, you know, um, he goes around telling people his story and just how they should never give up. And, um, it's, it's great. I, at one point I had him scheduled to call into my radio show, but, uh, one, I guess there was a scheduling conflict, um, on his end and, um, haven't been able to get him back on since. Hope to, hope to interview them someday, whether it's for that radio show or maybe even this or for something else. That would be pretty awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. And, um, but it's just, uh, and, um, also, I should mention Jason Benetti, the TV voice for the Chicago White Sox, also has cerebral palsy. So it's not just on the field. Um, that uh, people with disabilities can thrive at, it uh, can thrive in, I should say. It's also up in the booth. Also up in the booth um, with broadcasting. Jason Benetti, really an amazing guy. He's 36 years old. Um, he's born 10 weeks pre premature. Spent the first three months of his life in a hospital. And, um, you know, he has one of those walks where you know, it kind of goes side to side a little bit, or like his upper body goes side to side as he walks. And then his, uh, his left eye sort of veers off to, to the left a little bit. So he'll be looking straight. <laughs> he'll, he'll tell you this repeatedly. He'll be looking straight and it looks like he's looking off to the left. I have a picture of him and I together and that's pretty much the case there. I met him in June of 2008 and uh, that was really cool. Uh, Jared 
introduced me to him, Jared Sandler, um, when I was there job shadowing for the fan at uh, Globe Life Park uh, in Arlington. So that was that was pretty cool. I got I got about 15 minutes to sit down with him. Uh, of course, the White Sox were in town playing the Rangers. That's why he was there. And uh, I got I got about 15 minutes to just sit down and talk with him. And uh, and he was awesome. He was awesome and gracious with his time. He gave me about 15 to 20 minutes, like I said. And this was an hour-ish before game time. So he still had prep work to do. And he actually took time out um, of his day, of his evening, to spend with me. <laughs> and, uh, it was awesome. I got a picture with him. And I look at it every day as motivation. And it's just incredible. Incredible. And in fact, it's like, it's what... There are days when that's the only thing that sort of motivates me <laughs> to just keep going, keep going. And, um, but yeah, if, uh, if you ever get a chance to look him up on YouTube or if you get a chance to listen to one of his broadcasts, apart from his job at, with the White Sox, he also does the occasional football game and the occasional basketball game for ESPN. And get this, he's a, he's a lawyer. He is a lawyer. He has two college degrees, a communications degree from Syracuse University and a law degree from Wake Forest University, He and he has passed the bar. So he could actually practice law if he wants to. He never has officially, but he could. He really could. And uh, how many people do you know that can, how many people do you know that have lawyer as their backup plan, as their backup career? I just know one. I just know one, and um, but yeah, if you ever get a chance to listen to or you know watch Jason, do it, do it. He does the occasional uh, game on ESPN, like I said. He does White Cast or White Cast White Sox broadcasts uh, during the season, baseball season. And look him up on YouTube. YouTube. He's actually pretty active on YouTube and pretty active on Twitter as well. So go and follow him, Jason Benetti, and. Uh, you'll be really glad you did. And he's just, if there's one thing, if there's one person, I should say, that gives me hope about my career, it's him. It's him. And I would be a fan of his, even if he didn't have a disability, which, I mean, like I said, never, <laughs> basically never judge a book by its cover. Um, he's awesome. And, um, so determined, and a lot of us are. A lot of people with disabilities are, but especially him. It's uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. He is uh, going into his fourth season as the lead play-by-play -play, play -play man for the Chicago White Sox alongside C Steve Stone um, for White Sox TV. And uh, it's pretty awesome. In fact... If the White Sox are in town, which they will be at least once this year, I'm going to see if I can't uh, sneak up there and say hi to him. So we will see what happens. <laughs> he also does a, a series of commercials called Awkward Moments. Those are on YouTube as well. Very informative and very funny. And they're animated. And that's exactly what he looks like, too. Um, face, glasses, the walk they captured perfectly of his... I mean... The way you see him walk in the commercials is exactly how he walks in real life, and they're not—they're not—they're um, not really poking fun at it. They're just getting it right. Um, they're just kind of doing right by him. So yes, uh, I got less than a minute left before I wrap it up here. So really, just um, educate yourself, educate yourself, and let people in. Let people in um, to sports, to groups that have disabilities. I mean, let, let them in, if, even if they don't have a disability, but especially, especially with, um, people with disabilities. Um, it's like, don't make us feel worse than we already do. <laughs> and sometimes that is the case. So, uh, yeah, be accepting. Let people in whether you want to or not. <laughs> and, um, yeah. 
So that'll wrap it up for Sports Inside the Box with Nate Miller. Um, We'll see you next time.